After four days exploring Tokyo, an adventure that had included a lot of food, drinking and walking, we were finally on our way to Hakone. 96 kilometres from central Tokyo, Hakone would see us travelling by both bullet train and taxi. Our stay would be relatively brief, just two days and then we'd be off to Osaka, Nagasaki, Kyoto, before bouncing back to Osaka and then on to home. As usual, we'd arrived at the hotel too early. With time to kill, we decided to walk to a nearby waterfall. It's true to say that a lot of the walk was uphill, and we're certainly not as young as we used to be. <laughs> so Haunting attention. If you meet a bear, don't shout, don't run away. Ironically, it wouldn't be a rampaging bear that nearly killed me, but the foolhardy decision to perform a moonwalk on a slippery bridge. By now, the weather was clearly on the turn. Although tempted by the prospect of venturing further up the mountain, we opted instead to make our way back to our accommodation. A modern Ryokan that embraced traditional Japanese hospitality, Hakone Ginyu sat in stark contrast to our hotel back in Asakusa. Our room was exquisite, elegant and authentic with its very own onsen and a panoramic view of the surrounding countryside. Bridget was understandably very happy. It is the most amazing hotel room I've ever been in. This is incredible. I'm trying to think. I'd love to see the rest of the hotel as well. Mm. Oh no. What is it? What is it? I know it was made by bees. It's but made by bees. Definitely got some honey in it. Is it good? Our meal that evening would be served in our room, and the process from start to finish would last just over two hours. Now that is good coffee. It's not coffee.
Once again we were up at dawn, hoping to catch another sunrise. Unfortunately, and possibly setting the tone for the rest of the day, the weather was overcast and not completely on our side. Then there was breakfast. The number of dishes seemed frankly quite terrifying and we quickly resigned ourselves to the fact that there was no way we'd actually be able to finish it all. So, what were your thoughts on the breakfast? Quite a lot. They should all be huge really, shouldn't they? Mmm. But good. Mm. The plan had been to do all the usual touristy things, the pirate ship, view Mount Fuji from across Lake Ashi and ride the Hakone ropeway. Because of the weather, the pirate ship was no longer running, so we were forced to cross the lake by other means. Are you having a great time? We're about, it's a holiday. Enjoy the boat ride. I did. I mean, it wasn't the pirate ship though. It wasn't the pirate we saw ship. the pirate ship we did see the through pirate the banks ship, of Drizzle. Like I know. Oh well. Our run of bad luck did beg the question what do you do in Hakone if the weather is bad? I mean, I figure we're alright to do this in this one because there's no one else uh, around. And we've got nothing else on. Nothing else on. This is going to work better than you for you than it will for me. Okay. Yes, they are. Please touch the screen to start. I mean, I look amazing. Okay. Shot. <laughs> Just to add insult to injury, the Hakone ropeway had also been closed. So where are we going now? To an open air museum. An open air museum. Uh -huh. like an, an art yep. in the rain. Yeah. In, as you say, the rain.
Bridget's estimation, Arayokan was only a 45 minute walk from the museum. The weather, typically, gave no sign of relenting. Soaked through, with aching limbs and tired legs, we enjoyed a beer in the onsen and watched the rain continue to do its thing. Before long, it was time to eat again. So we thought we wouldn't have to video it tonight because, um, you know, we thought it'd be the same menu, but it turns out it's not the same menu. <laughs> oh no! So this round we've got a soupy thing with some tofu, which I'm not overly keen on, but there you go. And some picky stuff. I mean, this is similar to yesterday, but I'm quite happy to go with this from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Got the salt, got the chopsticks, got the fish. Mm. Mm. I think we've been asked to wait, but Bridget's not waiting. And the instruction wasn't clear to be fair. So it's okay, we were supposed to eat the last one. Um, <laughs> so we ate it. So I'm quite pleased to see that we've got more beef today. I'm just gonna get Bridget photographing it. Um, what's nice is I felt I fucked it up quite royally when I cooked it myself yesterday. So it's quite nice that he's done it for us. Where are we at with this now? Mm -hmm. we, you're still just eating. There's a lot of courses. So the situation is that we're both full, but Bridget says that we can manage this. That's fair? Mm-hmm. So I had two meals. Mm -hmm. um, how did they rate? Really good, like both really good. Okay. Um, but that was the better one you felt. Mm. Why? So the abalone was a texture that was not for me, which mm -hmm. was yesterday. It's so it was not. perfectly fine, I could do it. And then there was this little baby firecracker squid thing or something that tasted perfectly fine, but you know, was- Not for you either. Oh, it just made me a little bit squeamish. Mm. But tonight, the sashimi was amazing and they cooked the beef for us where I think we made a bit of a pig's ear of cooking our own yesterday. I would agree, I would agree. up at dawn again the next morning. The bad weather had finally cleared and we got the sunrise we wanted. We're trying the western breakfast this morning. Scrambled eggs. Yellow stuff, more yellow stuff, fruit, orange juice, green tea, and a lot of bread goods. loved our time in Hakone. It may not have been the usual fare, 
but the reopen was incredible, and despite the bad weather, a good time was had by all. Our next stop would sit in sharp contrast to the rolling hills of our current setting. We'd be heading to Osaka. 